so hello everyone today we are going to solve example number one and it is written on the screen that the front view of line ab measures 45 mm and apparent inclination with hp is 50 degree the top view is 35 mm long complete the position of line the point a is 10 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp so this is the statement given to us and as per the statement we have the front view length is 45 mm top view length 35 mm and inclination of front view length with hp that is 50 degree to begin with we have the position of point a that is 10 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp so initially i set the limit as per the process now i'm going to set the dim style so type dim style in command line and dim style manager will get open then click on modify and change the extension line color to index color 9 increase arrow size by 3.5 increase text height by 3.5 and make precision of primary units as 0 press ok and close the dimension style manager now first we have to place xy line so i open the line command then i open ortho mode as well as the o snap so that i can get the reference point from which i will be able to draw the xy line so this is the xy line that we draw above xy we have vertical plane and below xy we have horizontal plane so we add the names by using detect command type detect in command line press enter press anywhere on the screen to specify the start point specify height as 3.5 and angle of rotation as 0 so the text box will get open so this is a vertical plane and in vertical plane we get a front view and this is horizontal plane in horizontal plane we get top view this is line xy place outside and place press escape so first we set point a so i open line command i selected any point on xy line and i travel in upward direction make sure that this ortho mode is on on so that we get exact vertical line the vertical distance is 10 mm i enter 10 and press enter then immediately you draw the locus of a point a like this draw a line of any length and just click and then press escape similarly point a is 15 mm in front of vp so from the same point i am going to start a new line and that is below xy line the distance is 15 press enter immediately draw locus so this is point a in a front view this is point a in a top view now we want these projection lines as well as locus lines faint so select these lines that we want in a faint color and go to this properties by layer first and select index color 9 so these lines will become faint so this is our point a in a front view point a in a top view i give name to the point same process that we are going to follow to enter the text so this is point a and this is point this point i call it as a, a dash this is locus of a 
and this one is locus of a dash okay press outside press escape we come out from the text box now in a front view the length given is 45 mm and angle is 50 degree so we have to draw a line of 45 mm length to angle 50 degree from this point a so i open line command and i just close this ortho mode and i am going to open the dynamic mode okay. so this dynamic mode customization will help us to draw the line with angle now i'm going to click on this point a and i move the cursor now you can see that length and angle is visible with the cursor so i'm going to add the length as 45 and angle as 50 and press enter so this is the point b that we get now we want the locus of b so i just open this ortho mode and i draw one horizontal line through it so this is locus of b this line should be faint so i select the index color 9 and i add the name of point over there by using the detect command so here this is point b and this is locus of b immediately you add the distance of line ab so as line is angular so we can use this aligner distance option i select this point a point b and this distance is 45 also show the angle by using angular mode so this angle is 50. Okay. now <coughs> The next thing given is a top view of line. It is 35 mm. So as this AB is a front length, which is a front view length, and also the top view is given. So definitely the projector of B will be the same for the B dash. So I'm going to draw a vertical line from B. And on this line, the b dash will exist so what we are going to do we are going to draw a circle of 35 mm and that circle is going to cut this line somewhere so that is the position of top view of line a b so i am going to use this circle command so this is the center of circle and from here i am going to draw the circle of radius 35 so this circle cuts the line at this point so i i am going to draw a line from this point a dash to this particular just close this ortho mode to this particular intersection immediately after getting this point b dash you should draw the locus by opening the ortho mode so this is locus of b dash this line should be faint also make this circle faint <clears throat> we just add the name over here so this is b dash and this is locus of b dash now we are going to trim the unwanted part of the circle so use trim command and just trim the unwanted part you may zoom it like this okay. now this rotation is required because we are going to make this a dash b dash horizontal in order to get the true length of the line just show the length of line 
a dash b dash it is 35 and also the angle so this is the answer that we want we are interested to find this angle apparent angle it is not given in a statement so one solution that we get that is the apparent inclination of the top view now we want the true length of line ab and also its inclination in a front view as well as in a top view now here we are going to use the principle that if we can see a true length in one plane then in another plane the line is parallel to x y so in order to get the true length in a front view i am going to rotate this a dash b dash and i am going to make it parallel to x y so this is the point where b dash is rotated and from here i am going to draw a vertical line so it cuts locus of b at this position so this is the new position of b and this when i connect it this will become the true length i am going to connect this a with this point so make this line faint. Now we give name nomenclature to the point B like this. So B dash is rotated to this horizontal line. So we call that point as <coughs> B1 dash. And this is just for our under understanding purpose. And from here, we connect this as a b1 double dash so this a b1 double dash is nothing but the true length of the line which is visible in a now we can see the angle made by this true length in a front view it is 45 degrees so this is one more answer that we get now we want the position of the true length in a top view for that purpose we are going to rotate this a b such that it becomes parallel to x y so again i am going to use circle command i click on a then i just close this ortho mode then i click on this b point so this is the circle that we are interested in now trim the remaining part of circle which is not required like this okay so this is the rotation that we required make this paint then draw a perpendicular from this line so this is the perpendicular that we drop so this b is rotated and this ab made parallel to xy so we give new point name as a b dash so again i am going to use the dt command b text enter so command this text box will get open so this point is b dash and from b dash we come over here we call this as a b double dash so this a dash b double dash so this is the true length of line in a top view so we just make this paint this vertical line paint and now we are going to connect this a dash with b double dash now measure the true lengths so this a dash b double dash and this a b1 double dash this both lengths should be the same we just check it whether we get the same true lengths or not so it is 49 similarly we check this length this is also 49 we just show it also check the angle in the top view this angle is 24 now we can trim the unwanted lines extra lines so this is unwanted extra line that we trim you just keep the locus as it is now check 
the entire solution now you should take care that when you give the nomenclature okay, so it should be proper and clear and also when you dimension the lines so dimension should be away from the line okay. it should not this dimension line should not cross the construction line okay. so likewise i have shown over here so these dimensions are proper they are away from line and they are not crossing each other or any construction line so this is the entire solution of the problem i hope you understand how we solve the problem thank you we stop over here